How's it going, guys? She's a Cats here on the Tresses Collectibles channel, here with, of course, the main man. What's up, guys? Mike here. And we're going to be bringing you guys the run back for the Bang Dream games, starring uh, some of the new cards from the new extra boosters, Morphonica and Ras, mm -hmm. and Poppin Party and Roselia. I'm going to be rocking the same build that you guys saw in the last video. Again, if you guys want to check out the uh, comprehensive deck profile on this sort of deck, I'm going to be doing that over on my channel. We'll have a link down in the description. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, level one Nanami into the level three Mashiro. Yeah, and on my end, I'm going to be sticking with the same build, level one Tai with a synergy with the that irritating girl uh, to hopefully get some good cards in our hand and get extra stock. At level three, we are going to go with the new extra booster Rimi, uh, pop and party finisher, where on attack, pay one, discard my level zero Saya. And if I do, burn one twice. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So one particular thing about uh, the Mashiro combo, as we detailed previously, is that she's especially lethal when your opponent is uh, like already deep into level three. And um, part of the downside of that, though, is that your opponent does have offensive pressure on you in return by using their level three finishers. Mm -hmm. So ideally, you really just want to try to take as little damage as possible. And that includes like stopping clocking yourself in the mid game once you're able to stabilize that board at level two. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully your opponent is forced into using their offensive finishers while you're still down at like two, four, two, five. That would be like the ideal scenario. Right, and then you, they, they try to kill you, you get hit to like three, four, three, five. As long as you're alive, then it's all good. And then Mashiro machine gun. <laughs> exactly, Mashiro from three zero uh, is very, very, very lethal. In a lot of configurations, yeah, Mashiro from like three three though, especially Dead. when <laughs> especially when like with that gigantic board of Chuchu Pareo, you're just like forcing your opponent to open their own lanes, mm -hmm. and it's like okay, direct for four, direct for four, direct for four. Yeah, part of the reason why Chuchu Pareo, besides being such a just a good two card combo, is because it, but also uh, it synergizes so well with Mashiro. When you attack with Mashiro, you really want to direct because the when you direct, higher chance to cancel, which means more Mashiros. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this game goes. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we don't draw as many climaxes as we did last time. <laughs> Duh. I'm going to discard one. Okay. Uh, I will also discard one. Both of us discarding our early play healers. Mm-hmm. All right, this is going to be off to an interesting start here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by clocking the least useful card in my hand, which mm -hmm. is the level three Mushro combo. And then from there, we're going to explore some uh, some tactics. Oh man, I wonder what's coming up for... Okay. So we're going to try out this uh, line that uh, between us we've been talking about lately, which is frontlining double <laughs> giant runners. Yep. And so uh, this... 3-5 Nanami if I have one or less other characters, and of course I can only attack with one of these, but now my opponent has to deal with potential 3500 on multiple lanes. Mm, so I wonder why he's doing that, because otherwise he could have just normally played one Nanami. So it makes me think that he doesn't want me to deal a lot of damage to him. Yeah, I, th I, I think a big strength of this is that um, you have ways to just run in front of like smaller things and then reduce incoming damage. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you have only one copy, your opponent can just play around this. Yeah, so Randall essentially here, he's dedicating another copy of Nanami in advance to the board in exchange for basically saying, I don't want to take direct attacks. I don't want you to attack multiple characters. I want you, I want this zero game to go slow. And three. Okay. One, two, three. And three is good. Yeah. Going with this sort of tactic though, you do need to have a little bit of familiarity with the metagame and what mm -hmm. sort of uh, counter threats your opponent has. Mm -hmm. So... This isn't going to work into every match. Yeah, right? if you overextend, you can easily find yourself on the back foot. On your turn two, you're going to have, be like, I have no hand left, and it's going to be a, a bad time. But mm -hmm. if you know your matchup, it can actually work quite well. I'm going to go ahead and clock my RSF Refresh to draw two. And attack with a guy. <laughs> and this is exactly the kind of situation that we're talking about. Okay. Attack phase? All right, I will run in front. Okay, I'm going to side for two. Okay, one, two, cancel. Okay, go ahead. Sitting nice and low here in the level zero game. And, um, oh boy, what do I clock here? <laughs> These are all so good. Um, I 
think the card I'm going to clock is the 1-0 Toko. This will secure us our yellow for our level 1 game. Or if we get uh, another yellow card to show up in our clock, we can level that instead, and then uh, we have this as an option for mm. later. Mm -hmm. Or we can just draw another one. That works, <laughs> that works too. All right, so the thing here is that this Saya is... 2,500 power, which means if I commit another body to the board, Nanami is no longer able to swing over her. That being said, we do have ways around that. So what I'm going to do is play Yuki Nariki, using her effect, pay one, clock the top card of our deck. Mm -hmm. And there we have another yellow. I think I'm more okay with leveling this. Although, actually, since I have another copy, I think I'm okay with leveling the global after all. Uh, we're going to use the Yukina effect... And we're going to grab our good friend Hagumi. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, this Hagumi is going to accomplish two things for us at the same time. It's going to allow us to not only search our choice climax that we don't have yet, but also give a 1k buff to swing over the Saya that mm -hmm. Mike has. Okay, so a quick cut there. And we are going to play our Hagumi mm -hmm. on play effect, clock the top card of our deck, and then discard a card. I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard the Tsukushi Brainstorm. Search for our choice climax for our level one game, and I'm actually going to give the one K power to the Yukina. Oh, interesting. And the idea here is I'm going to crash the Yukina, and then that's still going to leave that slot on the left open for my Nanamis to potentially run around in case he wants to try to use clean cut for value on the upcoming turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the plan that we're going to go with. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of attack order, I'm going to swing direct with the Nanami first. It's going to be for two. Castle. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Another Nanami direct swing for two. One, two, two's good. And then finally the crash. I'm okay with giving up the potential value of the Yukina potentially bouncing back to my hand as I think the quality of my hand is quite good already and mm -hmm. could last me for future turns. So I think denying him potential value with uh, the clean cut I think is more important here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna crash, that's gonna be for one. Okay, one is good, I do level. I'm gonna go ahead and level one of my own Yukina. Mm -hmm. Now you can use your Saya. And then now on reverse, Saya has her effect on play ta uh, on reverse, check three, and no climax, so nothing happens. Okay. Alright, draw for turn. Go ahead and clock my bread to draw two. Okay. Um, what's in our waiting room? Um, hmm. So they're all 2Ks. So mm -hmm. thankfully, this level 0 Kasumi will be able to reverse one of them. So I'm going to play Kasumi. And then I'm playing, uh, I'm going to discard this Climax to salvage a character. And with that, I think. I think I'm going to grab... Let me just double check that I don't want anything else here. Yeah, I'm going to grab a level 1 tie. Mm -hmm. Then play tie, and play another tie. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to play my 1-0 event. This event, I choose one of my... If I can only use if I have uh, three or more music characters. Choose one of my music characters in my waiting room, and then send it to stock. So I'll go ahead and send Yukina. And then the tie is going to gain an on attack ability to uh, reveal the top card of the deck. And if it's a music character, he can add it to hand. And when combined with her climax combo, will basically allow you to guarantee that you're adding uh, something one, uh, something useful. Yeah, something yeah. useful, not something random off the top. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. There is a chance I go, no, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, I'm going to play another character in case he style bombs me next turn and removes this cost. <laughs> and then those ties would go down to... Uh... Those ties would go down to 4k. Not, oh. not saying that he can't get over these anyways, because uh, his, his level 1 combo just naturally goes over 6k, but... 
Just in case. So this tie to back row tells me you don't have combo. Uh... It either tells me you don't have combo or you have multiple copies of combo. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm still kind of thinking on whether or not I want to front row this, honestly. Mm. I think I'm going to value the, its body more so that I can I can answer your level 1 next turn. Mm -hmm. And this is going to give me a good amount of cards anyways, so yeah, I think this is good. It sounds like two climaxes in hand. 1k1! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, would you like to run anywhere? Nope, we're good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and front with this tie. This is the tie that has the effect. Uh, I'm going to activate Tai's Climax combo first. Mm -hmm. So on attack, I top check three, and then Randall will give me one of the cards here. Uh, I'm going to give you the Pareo Clean Cut. Okay, next I am going to... I can either Send know both, both room. Yeah. keep or keep one. And I think I'm going to mill the tie and keep the Remy on top. And then the event will activate on attack, reveal the top part of my deck. If it's a music character, I add it to my hand. So I add the Remy. Yeah, this is that great combination that lets you get selection out of an otherwise not so random, good combo. Random yeah. combo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then now I finally get the trigger for attack. Um, do I want to salvage? I'm getting another card. Hmm. Is there only gates in waiting room? Yep. Okay. Okay, let's think. Um, yeah, let's salvage. Okay. Okay, so that's for three. One, cancel. Okay. Next, I will go ahead and front. One, two, three. Uh, I will give you the Remy Brainstorm. Okay. And then... Yeah, I just want to avoid giving my think pieces for his late game. I think I'll move both. Okay. And then trigger. Four, two. One, cancel again. All right, pass turn. Uh, so the reason I, I pass turn here is because uh, I just want these guys to live. I don't want him to go to level one. Yeah, this means he's going to be able to get increased value out of... Uh, out of yeah. the second copy yeah. of the past <laughs> climax. Yeah. So I, I, I guess it, it, it's really... Unlikely that this scenario would have happened, but I think you might have been able to move one of the characters here so that I'm more incentivized to attack with the Cosme. Because mm. this way I uh, I got double tie combo and still reverse two of your characters. Right. But that's like, yeah, maybe just very, very low pro probability. Yeah. <clears throat> Funny story, I would have triple cancel. <laughs> oh my so goodness. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. I, I think given my current situation, uh, passing turn is, uh, is the right play. Okay, this is a hand. Hmm. <laughs> oh, baby! That's what we like to see! Yeah, alright. We're gonna front the Kasumi mm -hmm. for two. Two. Guess. Okay. Okay. And I'm Kasumi just gonna hope I don't take... First. I'm just gonna hope I don't take too much damage this upcoming turn. Okay. One cancel would be nice. I'll take one cancel, please. Drop return. Hmm. Do we need to clock here? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well, maybe we need a clock. Okay, so I, in no world am I paying out that climax. I think we just are going to accept the fact that that climax is just there. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I will not clock, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to... Actually... The chances of me hitting Planets is very low here, so I think rather than brainstorming... I will just play the Remy, and that guarantees me a card when mm -hmm. I play Climax. 
Though honestly, I'm not even sure if I need to play pay that effect, because I'm just going to be forehand anyways. Uh, yeah, no clock, and I'll play both of these down, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to... I do think that the middle two is probably worth it, as well as the the value of getting something that I actually need in hand. These ties are going to be uh, getting me a bunch of garbage, so... Even though I'm going to be overhand if I use the Rumi effect, I do value the, the hand quality. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play 1k1, pay 1 for the Rimi. Yeah. No 2. Salvage a level 1 or lower, pop and party. I can't wait to hand you all these Yuki Narikis <laughs> and these top 3 checks. Um, 1 or lower, huh? I'll grab a tie. Okay. Okay. And it's time for me to see what Randall gives me. Front. Um, oh, he's a... Pardon. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll give you the par area. Okay. I'll mill two. Mm -hmm. That's for two. All right, one cancel, please. Thank no! you. Okay. All right, mission accomplished. <laughs> I'll take another one, though. Bonus cancel. All right. Dirt attack? Uh... Yeah, you can have another party. <laughs> Alright, you are joining the crew. You can look at the top card of your deck. Honorary, as as you honorary pop and party member. Uh, I'll move the rest. Salvage! You know, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure Pareo wanted to be a, a Pastel Palette <laughs> member. <laughs> honorary member, not a pop and party What's going member. on here? Alright, um, okay, this does give, give us a good opportunity to... Increase the quality of your hand. Increase the quality of my hand, yep. So I think I'm going to... Start grabbing my finisher. Mm -hmm. And that's One, for three. Two, three. Level up. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our overflow is red, which is not a color that we're looking to use. Um, but I am just going to go ahead and level yellow here, I believe. Uh, leaving the Shimokai Toko just so I have better access to it. Okay. Last, I'm going to direct. One, two, three. Uh, you can have the Saya. Okay. Those other two cards are pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty good. Pretty OP. Okay, I'll move the rest and then trigger for three. Okay, take the three. Okay, and I am overhand. Uh, I discard two, so I'm going to discard these. Okay. So, how many climaxes are in waiting room now? I believe there are five. 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 Mm -hmm. What's missing? Uh,. <clears throat> One gate, two pants. Okay. So Mike have another pants in his hand? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, draw for turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clock a free fresh backup. Okay, nice. Drawing some good cards here. I'm gonna start by playing a Nanami Runner plus a Toko, and I'm gonna use Toko's effect. And this is gonna pay out this Nanami that hopefully I can just immediately peck back up by milling a one or higher. That's not a one or higher. That is not either. So we will be getting a zero off of that. And... How much cards in deck do we have left actually? So if I mill five with Nanami plus three, I'm actually okay with that. Ending with like two cards in deck. That being said, we should still see what is up for grabs. I think I'll grab the Tsukushi level zero. Okay. This card does have some application later on that I think is quite useful. Let's see, how do I want to deal with your board? Fortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear all of it. Yeah. So, playable-wise, I think we're going with these. Depends on how much I want to keep my Toko, I guess. Um, yeah, all right. So, I'm going to go with playing 
one copy of my Nanami level one combo, one copy of Yuki no Riki, and then I'm actually going to frontline my Toko. Oh, we get to see the, the change effect. Mm -hmm. So with that, I think that's pretty much good. Uh, we can also... Nah, I think we'll just hold on to this in hand, probably discarding this for the combo. So starting climax phase, we're going to use Toko's change to go into the Shimakai and then play 1k1. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately only able to deal with one of these two ties, but eh, small price to pay for uh, being out six early and not getting super punished. <laughs> So uh, we'll side here. We'll use her Shimakai effect to buff 1500 to the Nanami. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be for two. Okay. Uh, this is clean. So I'm going back five. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's take a quick gander at what we have in our deck. So for, for Randall's sake and for our viewer's sake and for myself. Let's take a look at the important cards that are in our waiting room. Okay, so two early to play ties, two Rumi finishers, three Saya. Okay, how many tie bombs? <laughs> tie bombs, there are two. Okay. Card notably good countermeasure against this deck. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> All of my meatballs! Okay. Alright. And that was the two, and I refresh point. <clears throat> Let's go with another side attack with our Yukina. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can get a random cancel, get her to come back to our hand. But also, having her here also reduces the incoming potential damage on Mike's next turn, which I think is also very important. This is going to be side for one. That's up. Nice. Got the... Got the... The, the sniper off. one. Yep. Yep. And then with Nanami's effect, I'm going to discard free fresh. Okay. And... We can just go for five immediately. Let's see what we have for options. So we have uh, a couple Mashiros. We have the Yukina stock swap, Choo Choo, and Nanami. And I think the two I'm going to go with here are... The Choo Choo and Mashiro. Okay. So this is going to be a front for 5-5, five, 6-5, five, 8k, five, mm -hmm. for 2. 1, 2. One, 2 is good. And with that, that's going to end my turn. Okay. Uh, how many? Are? I'm out all 8. All 8, okay. 2 in deck. And then how many Choo Choo and how many Pareo? There are 2 Choo Choo's, 1 Pareo in waiting room. Okay, draw. <laughs> <laughs> Problem? No, 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 you're good. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking to pay out two stock this turn, just to pay out that climax. Uh, we still have quite a quite a, quite a number of turns, uh, I would assume, ahead of us, so uh, paying that climax out should be beneficial to us in the long term. Uh, how do we want to pay out that climax efficiently? I think I'll just start with the brainstorm. Mm-hmm. Hit one. Okay, I'm gonna make him have the the god setup of double double pario. Okie dokie. <laughs> and I'll salvage this tie as this this is basically my only recourse against his early play board. Mm -hmm. And then save that for later. I'm gonna play another tie. Triple triple combo. I have way too many cards. First world problem. <laughs> Eight climax combos. You know, this I game. actually probably don't even Play this Climax. I'm not sure. Oh, mm -hmm. potentially save it for Climax Swap, maybe? To try to get maybe. into Okay, your... hold on. Let's, let's rewind a bit. Um, okay. Let's let's think about this turn. Because, like, I don't need to mill through my deck. And I already have cards. Maybe the play is to not Climax Combo. In that case, how are we going to pay out this other stock? Hmm. Right, because... The Climax combo line would allow you to use the Remy, right? Exactly. That was how I was planning on paying this out. Uh, 
What if you just front row Remy and you don't combo as many times? That still allows you to deal with the full board, but not go through as much? Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I've decided what I want to do. I will actually front row this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play this in the back row. As long as I can reverse all his characters, that's just good enough. Mm -hmm. Will you play the Climax? Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pay the one stock when I play a Climax. Mill two from the Remy effect and salvage a level zero. Uh... That's a Saya. Yep, grabbing Saya. Okay. All right, uh, 500 here. Let's get this party started. Okay. Gonna go ahead and... Wait, hold on. Eight out, the front. Eight out. Yep. For two, I want to front here because I know he doesn't have Climaxes left, so he doesn't get the bounce back from the Yukina. Mm -hmm. I am, however, getting some pretty nasty compression. It, it is, for sure. How many cards in hand? Oh, I have six. Okay, uh, very, very, very solid compression. Okay. Yep. And then off the level, I'm going to level up one of my Tsukushi Fukajiros here, and mm -hmm. then hopefully not take a Climax off the top. Nice. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to double check real quick, but I believe Tai is mandatory. Yep. Okay. Front. Climax, Climax, Climax. Oh, these are pretty good cards. Uh, well, those are good. I'll give you the side. Yeah. Uh, I do want to... Trigger clean. Trigger clean. So I'll add the Saya. And there's a question now of whether I want to trigger for two or three. And I think I want to have a better chance of dealing damage. So I'll leave the event on top and trigger for two. No, that was canceling anyway. <laughs> Front. Uh, you can read <laughs> for sure. Okay, and then uh, I don't think I... Do I want a climax in my hand for the next turn? One sec, let's see. I've never had this many cards in my life. Um, <laughs> you know, a Climax might be not too shabby, but at the same time, though... Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not six right now with the information I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. This much deck left with two Climaxes. Well, I need a Climax for the following turn. One option is to grab another pan so I can combo again next turn. Another option is to grab my Remy combo so I can just hold this gate for the rest of the game. And the third option is just to not trigger at all. Um, I think I'm actually going to grab a Climax because I want the ability to play a Climax next turn. And this grabbing the Climax now allows me to not push or well, not clock myself the following turn because I'll have everything I need. So I'm actually going to trigger the Climax. Okay. And that's for three. And then what are you going I'm to I'm salvaging... Pants. Okay. For three. One, two, three. Okay. And then... Pants size. I'm going to discard Pario. Pario. <laughs> you can... <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Is there an animal? Saya. Oh my god. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. All right, draw for turn. No clock, because that is part of our game plan. Not clocking if we can avoid it. If we it. can help it, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm out two or less. Mm -hmm. So off of that, we're going to play two copies of our Choo Choo early play. Oh no, he had two. We had two. And then we're going to play our Pareo. Mm -hmm. And then... Yo bet. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to use our Tsukushi's effect, act ability, discarding two, sacrificing herself, and summoning a character whose level is equal or lower than our level from our waiting room, which is going to be our second copy. Well, of I'd like to think that salvaging this tie right here made him do make that play. So uh, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I can't stop this anyways. And then now we just proceed with our game plan of turn 
three cards sideways every turn. Yep. So we're going to start with the tie. Mm -hmm. That's going to be for two. One, two. Oh, you mean uh, two? Choo choo. Or Pario. Did I say choo choo? You said tie. Oh, attack into the tie. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I do level, and my level is going to be one zero. Maybe this. No, I don't think this will ever come up. Okay. Ty, Ty is basically a member of Rasp, right? Ba yes, <laughs> yeah, actually. All right, let's front here. Bane Dream Lore Fans. Four, two. Two. Guess what? And then one last front. Four, three. I could get this Climax back into my hand, but then I have to ask myself, what am I even going to do with it if it's in my hand? So I think I'm actually just going to not pick it up, even okay. though I have the opportunity to. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's okay. go for three. Please go. And then the start of the Encore step, my two... Prayos are, or my two choo choos are going to allow me to heal one apiece. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, that went about average. Draw for a turn. Okay, so we're looking to pay out one stock because that's the last climax we have in our deck, and then just push damage. He is pretty compressed, but I think we're going to play this 1k1 anyways. Uh, cool thing is, though, there's only three cards left on our deck, so. If I am counting correctly, there's a Remy in there. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to no clock, pay one. I'm going to grab myself a. Let's see. But at the same time, these are pretty just clean triggers. Hmm. Let's think. Um, salvage, salvage, salvage. Or not salvage, play on board. Mm -hmm. Something that I can kind of do here is I can play some things so that it is stays out of refresh, so I have it in access to waiting room the, the following turn. And I'm kind of thinking about that in terms of the the Kasumi, just so I have access to it, or the Arisa. Right now I have six stock, I don't need that much stock to triple Rimi next turn, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to summon this Arisa. And then it'll be in my next deck rotation in the waiting room. So if I brainstorm and hit, I can salvage Arisa and then maybe search my deck. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to push this front row. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. Sure. Can I check my room? Yeah. There's five in here. Okay. I'm going to one kill one. Mm -hmm. No, I'm pretty sure there's like two Remy's in there. Unless I miscounted, which is very possible. So if that's the case, I think I want to attack once first with a non tie front for two. Take two. And then I'm going to front here. Hey, two remis. Hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. Yep. Uh, keep the keep the other one, and that's trigger for three. Cancel. Okay. Refreshing with five. Okay. Yeah. So that that one climax that stuck in stock there was a uh, very not good, but I don't think I really had a choice there. Also, the, like three stocking like, like like four turns ago. It is what it is. We live with those. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, can I check the waiting room one, one more last time? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's also good to note that uh, the last... This stock is a Rimi, so if I brainstorm, I can get access to that one, too. Potentially, if I hit. And Here. spooky. Okay. Yeah. Refresh point. And I reversed here. And then front. Or two. 
two. Okay, I am all reversed, and you're going. All right, I'm gonna draw, and I'm gonna turn card sideways. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, so let's um, let's start by paying this pants out. So I'll twin drive. Mm -hmm. It's going to be for Mashiro, so we need to keep track of that. So that's gonna be for four, five. Okay, I might die this turn. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> Cancel. Okay. And then we'll direct here for two, 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 cancel. And then one last direct for three, climaxes, two, two, three, cancel. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> All right, Yukino, where are you? <laughs> Interesting. How many are you out? Uh, I'm, I'm out three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's my bread? Draw for turn. I know exactly where your bread is. <laughs> Not in my hand, that's for sure. Okay. What do? Well, I drew a Yukina. Okay. The question is, no, I'm always gonna combo here. Am I? Am I always gonna combo here? I'm always, I'm always gonna combo here. Okay. Lock draw two. Yep. Yep, on play, pay one, clock myself, boost my level up so to level three because otherwise man hand is not great. Um, that's fine. Okay, uh, we're gonna hope that these burn ones can uh, can get rid of his climaxes. Let's see, pay two, pay two, pay two. Okay, that's enough. All right, so there's going to be some fireworks. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then... I'll play heal, but I obviously don't have any damage. Mm -hmm. Play this card. Climax, salvage. Mm -hmm. I'll play heal. I'll play heal. Okay, what is your hand size now? Five. Okay, so after triple Rimi combo, you'll be down to one card. Yep. Wow, this is very exciting. I've never triple Rimi before. Nice. Okay. Uh, hopefully this does something. Okay, so I think I'm going to actually side here. Because he's at 2, 6, and I want to level him with ping 1s. That so. shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Unless he has 3 stacked on the top, then we should be able to do this pretty successfully. Climax combo, uh, I'll side attack, on attack, pay one, discard, level zero Saya, and burn one twice. I mean, I would actually prefer to take the ping one here, because that means I can cancel the three. Like, more threes later. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, there's a cancel, and there's a cancel, and then... And then that side, salvage. Um, hmm. I'll have two stock left at the end of this turn. What am I grabbing here? Let's grab a tie. And then that's for one. Cancel. Okay. Next, I'm going to front. Pay one. Mm -hmm. Discard Saya, burn one twice. Cancel. Take. We did it! <laughs> We I mean, kinda, dealt one damage. I mean, kind of down here, because yeah. that means I get to cancel this three now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cancel. Yep. And then finally, I'm small here. Front, mm -hmm. pay one, discard. Take one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back with all eight. Yep. Damn, that was a lot of climaxes in the bottom cards of your deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you. Yeah. What oh, was that, five climaxes? Yep. Woo! Okay, Tuck. second burn, mm -hmm. refresh point. All right, here's where we trigger for game. Oh my god, four. Not like this. Exactly like. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh what? Well, there they are. Oh my goodness. Well, no, 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 no. that happens. That happens. Yeah. But I'll, I'll... Just to, just goes to show, like this Remy finisher, like this is a, the type of effect that was touted as like super strong 
on yeah. like Coco Chino in the mm -hmm. JP format. Yeah, when, uh, when, several when, years ago. Yeah, when uh, is that or there is your order a rabbit extra booster has this three two Coco Chino is like on attack K two discard one discard two discard two to burn one twice and it gets like a billion power mm -hmm. and for the longest time that was thought to be you know one of the strongest finishers around and which to be fair you know it is but um. Yeah, the remake here has several downsides in which like it, uh, it needs to discard a specific character but mm -hmm. in exchange it's a lot more resource efficient like you guys notice how i could actually triple remi and uh still have like a good amount of things i could do uh that still spend stock mm -hmm. because all you need is uh seven stock to triple remi yeah it is worth noting though that the coco chino in uh is the order of rabbit it also did have on play draw to discard it's, one yeah yeah so, which can help you yeah. just dig towards you know it, it refills hand so it, the discard two mm -hmm. uh was not that big of a deal and then also obviously helped you just dig towards dig towards more copies of the climax as yeah. well as more copies of itself while for the remi combo you kind of just have to have everything ready to go going into level three right so yeah it's I think it's part it's probably the biggest reason as to why people don't play this alongside the fact that like the Mashro combo is a lot more resource efficient and not as hand demanding. But if you can get this off, you know, the dream of you know double Rimi and uh maybe like a Musashi or even triple Rimi like here, it can definitely do a good amount of damage. Yeah. I think it definitely does need to be said though that I think you mentioned earlier that you would rather have the Happy Christmas Kasumi yeah. level 1 mm -hmm. combo. And that does help for multiple reasons. Not only the gate climax that allows you to get increased selectivity towards getting these specific cards into your hand, uh, but also because the Taiya combo does have that uh, opponent choice factor, mm -hmm. you don't have complete control over what you're adding to your hand, and it could be quite a bit harder to sculpt this. But right. in this particular game, <laughs> just able to get all the pieces. Yeah, the, 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 really, the big turning point this game was when you double cancelled at level 0, and because my hand was literally all climaxes. Mm. It was a. Uh, the, the turn where I played a tie in the back row, yeah. uh, my hand was three cards and they were all pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that, that extra turn that I had where I could just uh, combo again really, really helped me out there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, otherwise, uh, the big downside to the tie is like, again, you don't have that much selectivity. So you're really relying on just drawing uh, multiple copies of the 1-0 uh, irritating girl event to help you scope for better cards. Right. It does take a bit of deck space, but I mean, like when you think about it, that Christmas Cosmic combo would take an equal amount of deck space mm -hmm. between her combo and then her 1-0 event. Yeah. But uh, this one does also have the benefit of with the Irritating Girl. Just having know, a lot more stock. You get a lot with. of stock, yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, so that does it for game two of our Bane Dream Choice Pants versus Gate Pants matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let us know how you liked it. Have any comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.